There's been more criticism today of the decision to shut Blunderstone Prison in Suffolk last December. It comes in the final report by the jail's watchdog, the Independent Monitoring Board. It says the closure was a huge waste of taxpayers' money. It's history now. Blunderstone Prison stands empty in the Suffolk countryside. It's 500 inmates long gone, along with over 200 staff. A jail closed in a rush by the government focused on savings. But today, the prison watchdog, the Independent Monitoring Board, criticised the decision, revealing that over 10 million had been spent on it, an expensive key system had barely been used, and a small fortune had been spent on laundry facilities. So many millions had been spent in recent times, it said. It now had no value at all. Doubts must remain over the integrity of the decision to close HMP Blunderstone, and it's been suggested that the government were ill-advised. We've questioned whether or not the information on which the, the, the government made its decision to close the prison was actually the correct one. And so far, the information, we, as far as we're aware, has never been published. So we just asked the question, and I think there's a general consensus, not only with the IMB but everybody else, that, that there were very many questions about the closure of Lunderson Prison. Blunderstone Prison may be closed, but it continues to cast a very long shadow across the government. It's an issue that's not going away any time soon, and that's in part because of the way the closure was handled. Even the local Conservative MP Peter Aldous was given short shrift by the prison service when he asked for a full report. The former Lowestoft MP was also snubbed. If they had nothing to hide, they would release the evidence. But in the letter that I wrote to the Prime Minister, the reply that I got to that... All the things that they said they couldn't afford to do to repair the prison, they've all been done. We could see in today's report that 10 million was spent doing the very things that they said they couldn't afford to do. That's a scandal.